Please subscribe to the channel, guys. In an upcoming video, we'll be doing the brand new 5 amp hour HO battery for the M12. We'll be doing the M12 6 amp hour and then M12 4 amp hour. We'll see if the new 5 amp hour HO battery is worth your money or if the 6 amp hour battery is a better option. The Milwaukee's have a half inch fully metal truck and the Hilti and DeWalt have a 3 8 inch plastic truck. First, let's do a six inch timber lock, a five inch ledger lock, a four inch by three eighths inch lag, a five inch by three eighths inch lag. We'll move on to a one and a half inch hold dozer, then a two by five eighths inch hold dozer. Then we're gonna do a one and a quarter inch speed board, and then we're gonna do a concrete test. The wall is DCD 706B, $129 tool only. It's a 12 volt system, 25,500 beats per minute, 255 UWO, 1500 RPM, and three year warranty. DeWalt is up first, speed two, five amp hour battery, battery is full, DeWalt does not make a four amp hour battery. 2.25 seconds for the DeWalt. Speed two, four amp hour battery, battery is full. 2.56 seconds for the Milwaukee. Hilti speed two, four amp hour battery, battery is full. Hilti fail love speed two, let's switch to speed one. 4.55 seconds for the Hilti. Battery is full. Four amp hour battery. Speed two. In first place is the Milwaukee with 2.15 seconds and in last place is the Hilti with 4.55 seconds. Let's take the six inch timber locks out. 1.90 seconds for the DeWalt. Two seconds for the Milwaukee previous generation. Hilti is gonna be on speed two. 1.93 seconds for the Hilti, and the Milwaukee Jet is 1.90 seconds, and that is tied with DeWalt, which that's not too shabby for 12 volt hammer drills. Let's drive in the five inch ledger lock. 1.87 seconds for the DeWalt. It's 2504-20, $149 as a kit, 32,000 beats per minute, 350 inch pounds of torque, 1700 RPM, and five year warranty. 1.93 seconds for the Milwaukee. Oh. Hilti failed on speed two. Let's switch over to speed one. Doesn't look good for Hilti. 2.56 seconds for the Hilti. And the Milwaukee got 1.87 seconds. And that is tied with DeWalt. The last place is Hilti with 2.56 seconds. Let's take out the five inch ledger lock. 1.62 seconds for the DeWalt. 1.62 seconds for the Milwaukee. Hilti is on speed two. 1.58 seconds for the Hilti and the Milwaukee with 1.51 seconds for the win and they are tied the previous generation of the Milwaukee and the DeWalt at 1.62 seconds. Next let's drive in the 4 inch by 3 8 inch lag. I have a feeling that all of these tools are going to need a little assistance with speed 1. 2.55 seconds for the DeWalt. The Milwaukee just needs assistance with speed 1. These are 12 volt tools you guys. Not, they're not doing too shabby at all for 12 volt tools. I'm actually very impressed with all of these. 2.72 seconds for the Milwaukee. Hilti requires speed one as well. 3.17 seconds for the Hilti. 31 seconds for the Milwaukee. And the Milwaukee is the only one that was able to do it on speed two. All right, let's take these legs out. We are doing these on speed one. 3.65 seconds for the DeWalt. 3.72 seconds for the Milwaukee's older model. Hilti with 3.51 seconds. And the Milwaukee just able to do it on speed two with 1.58 seconds for the win. Oh, so the five by three eighths inch lags now. Speed one will be required. 4.71 seconds for the DeWalt. 5.37 seconds for the new Milwaukee. The Hilti is SF2HA12. $109 tool only. I did, could not find the beats per minute. 301 inch pounds of torque, 1600 RPM, and Hilti has a 22 one year warranty. Five point twelve seconds for the Hilti. Wow. Two point seventy two seconds for the walking one that is able to do it on speed two. Very impressive, you guys. Time to take these out. 4.20 seconds for the DeWalt. 4.95 seconds for the Milwaukee.
4.74 seconds for the Hilti. And 1.54 seconds for the new Milwaukee. And that new Milwaukee could do that on speed too. And it is for the win again. All right, let's do the one and a half inch hole with the Milwaukee hole those bits. We'll be doing speed too. 16.93 seconds for the DeWalt. And the older model Milwaukee is 20.72 seconds. Oh, Hildy's having a little trouble, you guys. Let's try that again. Twenty-four point zero seven seconds for the Hilti. Three four zero four dash two zero. One hundred and seventy-nine dollars as a kit. Twenty-two thousand five hundred beats per minute. Four hundred inch-pounds of torque. Fifteen hundred and fifty RPM and five-year warranty. The new Milwaukee is on speed too. Nineteen point zero eight seconds. And for the win is Dewalt actually with sixteen point ninety three seconds. And the last place is Hilti with twenty four point zero seven seconds. All right, next let's do the two by five eighths inch hole dozer with by Milwaukee. These two are gonna struggle with this, you guys. We are doing this on speed two. And eleven point eighty eight seconds for the Dewalt. 16.42 seconds for, for the new Milwaukee. Not gonna lie, guys, I think Hilti Kit can update this 12 volt hammer drill. And he, that needs to be a half inch chuck. We have to switch to speed one for the Hilti. Oh, Hilti is struggling with this two and five eighths inch hull. And 21.31 seconds for the Hilti. And the new Milwaukee was 17.34 seconds. For the win is crazy actually with 11.88 seconds is the DeWalt. Let's do the one and a quarter inch speed bore. All these tools require speed one, but we are gonna do a speed two test on the side just to see if it can do it. 5.75 seconds for the DeWalt. Let's switch over to speed two. Let's see if it can do it and it cannot. And the old model is on speed one. And 4.78 seconds for the Milwaukee. Speed two, let's see if we can knock that out. Cannot, it stopped. All right, Hilti, speed one. Just the fact that all these tools are doing these tasks for you guys, it's amazing. 5.82 seconds for the Hilti. Let's see if we can do it on speed two. It cannot. The newer model is on speed one. With 3.14 seconds, very impressive, you guys. All right, let's switch to speed two. Let's see if this can actually do it. And it can, you guys. And 3.14 seconds for the win. And the last place is the DeWalt with 5.75 seconds. All right, next, let's do a 7 16th concrete bit. And let's see how well these actually do. 35.02 seconds for the DeWalt. Do a little cleanup after each test. Twelve old tools, you guys. Twenty nine point sixty seven seconds for the Milwaukee. Thirty three point twelve seconds for the Hilti. Home Depot Online does have a deal going on for that hard case kit. You can get that for one twenty nine. I'd pick that up as soon as you guys can. All right, based on the specs, I am not surprised that the Gen 4 uh, came in last place with 42.50 seconds. Let's do a half inch bit now and let's see how well these tools do. Yeah, this is way above the pay grade. And the DeWalt got one minute and 4.11 seconds. 108 degrees for the DeWalt and the DeWalt has two bars. Just so you guys know, this task is way above their pay grade. They, I can't believe that they're even doing this. 38.38 seconds for the Milwaukee. Batteries at three bars and 170 degrees. Hilti is next. Hilti struggle a little bit with this one. Yeah, Hilti struggled big time. One minute and 19 seconds. 
Not bad though. That's what four bars left out of a 400 hour battery and the temperature is 114 degrees. Not bad though, you guys. 12 volt tools. The hammer feature on this hammer drill is not as powerful as the older model. Forty-nine point fifty-four seconds, and in first place is the older model with thirty-eight point thirty-eight seconds, and the last place is the Hilti with seventy-nine seconds. Sorry, guys, the battery has three bars. I blocked the view. It's hundred and twenty degrees. So the Milwaukee Gen Four actually ran a little bit hotter than everything else, and the Dewalt weighs three pounds, and the Milwaukee is three pounds and four point two ounces. The Hilti is two pounds and eleven point six ounces with the battery, and the Milwaukee weighs three pounds and zero point eight ounces. And in tool weight, Hilti actually weighs the lightest with 2 pounds and 11.6 ounces. And the heaviest is the Milwaukee with 3 pounds and 4.1 ounces. I thank you all for viewing and I seriously thank all you guys for su suggesting a video like this. The channel evolved the way it is based on the comments and I thank you all for contributing like that. And I seriously do appreciate it. I seriously thank all you guys for helping me grow this channel into the, what it is today. This was a very highly suggested video to do and I did it. And I seriously appreciate you guys continuing to suggest videos for me so I, I will do them. It's based on of the viewer feedback all these brushless hammer drills are top notch and they're all very powerful and all of these did way above their pay grade so these are actually fantastic tools so that's pretty much it i hope you found this video helpful and entertaining please like this video please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel this is dave nicholas thank you for tuning in i'll see you guys next time